Hello everyone, I am Vijaya from Vijaya Academics. Uh, today I'll be going to explain about the Chandrayaan-3 moon mission. Chandrayaan-3, the succeeding mission to Chandrayaan-2, it's set to launch on Friday, July 14, 2023 at 2.35 p.m. We are going to know more detailed information about Chandrayaan-3. Now, here you are going to learn the terms LVM-3, propulsion module, lander, rover, and instruments like Ramba. It is a bit confusing what are all these and which of this is called Chandrayaan-3. Let us see in detail now. LVM-3 is the rocket that will take Chandrayaan-3 up and drop it at certain point about the Earth. With that, LVM-3 jobs would aid. From that point, Chandrayaan-3 will journey towards the moon. The spacecraft consists of two parts, the propulsion and the lander rover modules. The propulsion module's main job is to take the lander rover play loads to the moon. You can think of the propulsion module as a truck and the lander rover payload as the cargo. After reaching the vicinity of the moon, the lander rover payload will detach itself from the propulsion module and falling onto the moon. The lander has engines that will slow down the fall so that its descendants gently onto the moon rather than crash landing on it. What is rover? The rover is a tiny trolley kind of device with wheels. Once the lander lands on the moon, the rover will slide out to the lander's belly and crawl over the moon's surface. See here it is being given lander, module and rover. This is proportion, propulsion module. Both the lander and the rover have instruments for experiments, such as analyzing the moon soil, checking how the moon surface conducts heat, and how quack waves move through the moon surface. Now, the question is there, why does Chandrayaan-3, like Chandrayaan-1 and 2, take a month to reach the moon. Let us see in detail what is it. We can also shoot off a rocket straight to the moon. Only the rocket will have to be extremely big to travel the distance of 384,400 kilometer. The rocket will have to carry enormous amount of fuel. The fuel adds to the weight of rocket. So it would need to be more powerful, the Saturn fifth rocket that took Apollo 11 to the moon in 1969, stood 363 feet tall. The LVM-3 is 152 feet tall. Big rockets are very expensive. Besides, there is no urgency, there is no need for the Chandrayaan-3 to reach the moon fast. That is why it takes a route that makes a use of the gravity of the earth to sling itself towards the moon. Kepler's second law of planetary motion states that the imaginary line that connects a planet and its satellite sweeps equal areas in equal intervals of time. This means that the satellite travels faster as it approaches the planet and slows, up, slows down as it moves away. While moving in an elliptical orbit, the law also means that the farther an object approaches the planet from, the higher the velocity it acquires as it comes closer to the planet. We want to make use of this property to get Chandrayaan-3 enough velocity to shoot off towards the moon. So after the LVM-3 puts its about the Earth, Chandrayaan-3 will start circling the earth on its own in an elliptical orbit. When it reaches the farthest point, 
engineers on the ground will nudge it slightly to change the direction a little so that the next loop is bigger than the first. So when the spacecraft approaches the Earth on its second loop, it will acquire a higher velocity again when it reaches the farthest point called apogee. The engineers will once again change the direction a little so that on the third loop, the spacecraft acquires an even higher velocity on completing five to six such loops. The spacecraft will have acquired enough velocity to sling itself towards the moon. Once it reaches the moon, the reverse will happen loop by loop. The spacecraft will get closer to the moon when it is about 100 kilometers away uh, from the moon's surface. The lander will detach itself and begin its descent onto the moon. The Chandrayaan-3 is estimated to cost around Rs. 615. What is the significance of the Chandrayaan-3? For decades after the US Apollo mission, mankind ignored the moon. But now, after the presence of ice in the southern polar region of the moon has been conclusively established, there is renewed interest. Ice means water. Water could be split into hydrogen and oxygen both of which are rocket fuels. This means in future, rocket could be built on the moon and powered by locally produced fuels. For other space missions, it is easiest and the cheaper to launch deep space missions from the moon because of its low gravity. But this wouldn't have been economically feasible if we have to carry rocket fuel from the earth to the moon. So this is all about Chandrayaan 3. Thank you. Thanks a lot for watching my channel. Keep watching and keep updating.